What's going on everybody? Ask Adam here. So today I'm going to show you my Negotiator's Dilemma build because uh, some people in my clan have been asking, you know, or trying to run it and things like that. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you what I've put together. I really actually like the build quite a bit. Uh, I run it two different ways, so I'll show you both of those. So to start with, I almost always run the Pestilence, but you can run this with Bullet King. You can run it straight with a rifle pretty much any way you want to do it. I mean, an SMG works too. It's just that SMGs are kind of crappy right now because of their accuracy. But anyway, so this particular way that I run it, I run it without the Chester backpack. Now, I actually don't have a backpack and I don't have any parts to make one. <laughs> so I need to get some parts for the backpack. But let me just, for anybody that doesn't know what Negotiator's Dilemma does, basically... Two piece gives you 15% crit hit chance, three piece is 20% crit hit damage, four piece is what's called hostile negotiations. So basically, any critical hits on an enemy marks it for 20 seconds, up to three marks total. Now the chest piece, you can get up to five marks. So when you critically hit a marked enemy, all other marked enemies take 60% of the damage dealt. The backpack gives you 100% of the damage dealt. Whenever you, whenever a marked enemy dies, gain 2% crit hit damage, stacking up to 20 times or until combat ends. So that is actually what Negotiator's Dilemma does. Now I have mine all spec'd out for either crit damage or crit chance. I wish I had a little more weapon damage on these pieces. I'm just now noticing most of them kind of suck. <laughs> I probably need to start saving some negotiators. And again, I re-rolled the weapon damage on that because it was really low, but man, I need to farm some negotiators, it looks like. Anyway, even even so, it hits pretty hard, and it does a lot, a lot of damage. So I've got a lot of room for improvement on that. So in the chest, I'm just running uh, Providence, and on the backpack, I'm running Providence as well. And basically, again, weapon damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage, like everything else on a red build. And the talent I'm running is Obliterate, which is not the best talent, but it's okay. I mean, when you crit something, you get 1% damage for 5 seconds, stacks up to 15 times, so you can stack it up for 15% damage increase. And then on the backpack I'm running, again, the second piece Providence, weapon damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and some armor regen just because I I had already uh, switched out the talent for Composure. And Composure just gives you 15% damage while in cover. So really, these builds are really easy. I mean, there's nothing to them. So you can run this basically any way you want. I do have one, let me show you here, a little different variation on it. And you guys know, these are all, anytime somebody's showing you a build, it's just, you make it whatever the way you want to. It's just an idea. So on this one, I'm running the Coyote's Mask. And I'm running a an L Petrov for the 10% LMG damage. And then crit hit damage, crit hit chance. Same thing. But I am running the chest, so I get the 3 to 5 marks. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. It's just up in the air. You know, they're both really strong, so it, it doesn't make too much of a difference. So on this one, my stats are 50% crit hit chance because of the mask. Um, you know, Coyote's Mask, you're going to get the... 25% crit hit damage for 0 to 15, uh, 10 crit hit damage, 10 crit hit chance for 15 to 25, and that's normally the range that I'm in. So that's putting me up to 60% crit hit chance, and then 100% crit hit damage, and then plus 25 is 25 crit hit chance. And like I said, the backpack, I'm still running composure with the LMG damage. And everything else, again, is the same. So... Again, the stats, 50, so 60% crit hit chance all the time, basically, with the mask. 90% crit hit damage. Let me, let me change back to the other build. I don't know why I keep closing that. Sorry. So on this build, I've got 58% crit hit chance, 100% crit hit damage. So they kind of are about the same. Stop closing it. Good grief. <laughs> um doesn't really matter. If you're running rifles, of course, you'd want to run the um, sharpshooter. So I actually have never actually, I've never ground out the minigun 
specialization, so I don't have that. I think it might work pretty well, especially with the damage on kill since you're killing a lot, or the armor on kill since you're killing a lot of stuff. But anyway, that is the build. I believe I have some gameplay at the front, but thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. I'm going to try to make start making videos a little more often. You know, I used to make them every day, now I'm up like three, every three or four days. I'm going to try to make some... I'm going to try to get back to every day. We'll see how that goes, though. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you later. Bye.